Well, there's no easy way to get into this one. Man, you talk about a devastating night for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, my gosh, I'm just, I'm really glad I waited to do this video. Uh, I had no choice. I worked till 11 o'clock. And um, Patrick Laine, don't even want to say the words, but could be out for the season. <laughs> Before it even begins. Before it even begins. It's easy to say all the cliches about curses. Not going to curse tonight. We need blessing and miracles. And this is where the faith side of me is going to come out tonight because I said it in a tweet that I would say a prayer for the Canadians. And you know what's interesting is I actually had this inkling to pray on video and do this before this game even happened. It's actually really strange. It's a long story, but we're going to talk about Patrick Line injury. We're going to talk about David Ryan Backer injury. Arbor Jack guy getting retribution on Pere, who laid the hit on Line. Yuri Slavkovsky getting into a fight as well. Josh Anderson fighting. I mean, this game is more about fighting and emotion and passion and just anger. Um, a lot of emotion from the Canadian side tonight. As they took on the majority of the non-regular Toronto Maple Leafs roster at the Bell Centre in Montreal tonight. So, not a lot to say. Not a lot to say, really. I mean... As fans, we're all feeling the same thing. As hockey fans, you, you feel the same way. You never want to see a player get injured. And we went through this last year in game two of the regular season with Kirby Doc, as we all know too well. We're being reminded of it in the rebuild series on Crave as well. But, you know, like Marty St. Louis just said again in the press conference, no other team in the NHL feels sorry for the Canadians. Nobody else cares. The NHL doesn't care. Here he is again saying the same quote. We won't get any official news on Patrick Lani likely until Monday. The Canadians have the day off tomorrow. So we won't get any official news until then on him or David Reinbacker. And it's um, leaving you speechless at this point, right? We just acquired Patrick Lani to give us hope for the season. He gave us that injection of hope for this season. And now it might be taken away. It might be taken away. Because of... A knee on knee. You guys saw it. If you didn't see it, you've seen it. Well, what does Captain Nick Suzuki think? He says, quote, I thought he lunged out pretty good. Referring to, to Perry, the one who laid the hit on Patrick Liney, the knee on knee, in unintentional. As Perry said, he didn't mean to do that, but what did he think was going to happen? He stuck his knee out. <laughs> like, I tried to take my emotions out of this. The initial reactions, the Habs fans are furious. Montreal fans are furious. We know. He doesn't. He didn't try to avoid a knee on, a knee, on knee whatsoever, and no no penalty call. So naturally, Arbor Jack guy responds, leaves his glove on, and feeds some shots to Perry. Gets the aggressor penalty. The instigator penalty, five, five in a game, ten. Well, I'm a, every misconduct you can think of, Arbor Jack I gets thrown out less than five minutes into the game. It's looking like Dean Portman, three seconds into the game. D two Mighty Ducks reference. This got ugly, but it really did light the fire of the rivalry again. I guess, I guess. Didn't have to happen this way, but your Slavkovsky certainly dropped the gloves more than Austin Matthews. I can tell you that. Yeah, he's got more stones than Matthews does. I'll say it right here, right now. I don't care. That's where my emotion's coming out. That's just me. That's just my emotion coming out. This is a tough one. I don't have much more to say than this, and I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for the Montreal Canadiens. I don't know what your belief systems are. If you're tuned in and watching this video, you saw me pray for God, Johnny Gaudreau and Matthew Gaudreau and his family. I'm a firm believer in prayer and blessing and speaking life. Like, you don't realize that the power of life and death are in our tongue. Yes, it's from Proverbs. I believe it firmly. Whether you do or not, I respect that. I completely respect that. But I want to pray for these Montreal Canadiens. I want to pray for all athletes in all sports of all ages. This pertains to this Montreal Canadiens fan channel here. Yes, which is where I'll start. But this is for any sport. I mean, football, we see it all too often. And then the nasty injuries, right? So I'm going to pray. I'm going to keep praying that 
these kinds of injuries will be avoided much, much more than they'll continue to happen, I pray. So, Lord, I just pray for Patrick Line. I pray that his injury would not be as bad as it looks. I pray for a miraculous healing in his knee, in all the muscles and ligaments that may potentially be hurt or damaged. Lord, I just pray for full healing for Patrick Line that he would come back sooner than expected, like Max Pacioretty did years ago on the hit from Zidane O'Chara. He came back a lot faster than expected. I pray that Patrick Line would receive the biggest ovation he's heard in his life just by having his name announced on opening night against these Toronto Maple Leafs. And Lord, I just pray for health, for healing for Patrick, for David, for David Reinbacker as well, and anybody else that gets, you know, I'm just praying for everybody in the NHL through the remainder of this season, the NFL, the MLB, the NBA, every major sport for every age group, for your kids, for people you know, I just pray for health, healing, protection over every individual playing sports, including myself and my friends in our ball hockey leagues. And God, I just pray that you would give wisdom to the, to the doctors to know what to do, what not to do, and to keep these athletes healthy and safe, all of them professional or not. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you for respecting that. If you did, uh, if you don't, I still love you anyway. Uh, our Lord says to pray for our enemies and for those who spitefully use us. So guess what? Even if you're, anyway, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say I have enemies, but I'm just going to say that I thank you for partaking in that and listening to that. Um, who I am really is going to come out sometimes on this channel. And I want to be a blessing. I want to be a blessing to people. This is just a YouTube channel. Talk about the Montreal Canadians, which I've really liked doing a lot because of you folks showing up here. So, I just want to thank you for that and the opportunity to speak life and blessing over these Canadians because, and, and over everybody else, you know, because these injuries are just detrimental to those of us who passionately follow our teams and the joy and the life that they give us by playing the sport, this game that we love, this gift of this game that we love. So thank you so much. Be blessed, be safe. And Patrick, David, be healed everybody else be healed and protected this season in all sports of all ages. Thank you so much, guys.